For over 40 years, Violence Free Minnesota has published an intimate partner homicide report. This is a summary of the Minnesota women, men, and children who have been murdered as a result of, relation of a relationship where there was domestic abuse and often child abuse. Soon, you will see 26 silhouettes, each one representing and honoring the life of a person who was killed in 2021 because of the egregious crime of domestic violence. The opportunity for these individuals to grow their families, deepen their friendships, follow their dreams, and continue making memories with loved ones was stolen from them. Imagine the lifetime of grief faced by the family members and loved ones of these victims. On my left, you will also see a t-shirt display on the clothesline. These are t-shirts lovingly created by victims' families and others that recognize and pay tribute to the women, men, friends, and family members who were murdered in 2021. To my right, you will see one solitary candle burning. This represents the lives of 26 victims, our daughters and sons, our grandchildren, our mothers and fathers, our grandparents, our sisters and brothers, our husbands, our wives, our partners, our family members, our friends, our coworkers, our neighbors, our fellow Minnesotans who have lost their lives at the hand of another person they trusted, possibly by gunshot, strangulation, suffocation, or stabbing. At least 35 minor children were left without a parent due to intimate partner homicide. We acknowledge each precious child's life with this tiny teddy bear as a symbol of their lost innocence and trust that the world is a safe place. Desandra Dieternet Wallace, January 30th, age 30, St. Paul, shot by her ex-boyfriend. LaPortia Nache Wallace and Jacorby Rashad Wallace, January 30th, age 14 and 11, St. Paul, shot by her mother's ex-boyfriend. Jimmy Todd Willimon, February 1st, Age 58, Matamida, shot by his girlfriend's ex-husband. He leaves behind two daughters and three stepchildren. Eric Allen Galti, September 15th, age 43, Winona, beaten and stabbed by his date's boyfriend. Samantha Sami Farah, September 27th, age 24, Bloomington. Stabbed by her boyfriend, she leaves behind one minor child. Caitlin Kelly Aldrich, September 28th, age 41, St. Paul. Shot by her husband and leaves behind one minor child. Bethany Ann Bernanski, October 7th, age 46, Nisawa shot by a man who believed she was his ex-girlfriend. Marquisha Doris Wiley, October 10th, age 26, St. Paul, died as a result of being caught in crossfire between two assailants. Mm -hmm. 